Welcome to start here with quotes by Jefferson, your gateway to inspiration, motivation, and practical wisdom. This isn't just another collection of quotes, it's a transformative experience designed to uplift and empower you daily. Through our YouTube channel, Start Here with Jefferson, we delve into the wisdom of Jefferson Otenbara Inbi, offering insights that go beyond the surface. Every quote we explore comes from Jefferson's extensive work across books, blogs, and publications. But we don't stop at simply sharing quotes. Each one is carefully unpacked, providing you with practical guidance on how it can be applied to real-life challenges. Our discussions are not just about inspiration but about action, showing you how to use these timeless lessons to navigate the ups and downs of life. What sets us apart is our commitment to offering a balanced view. We don't just praise the positives, we also explore potential counterpoints, giving you a complete understanding. This unique dual perspective ensures you can fully grasp each message and apply it effectively to your journey. Join us on this path of growth and empowerment. Together, we'll explore the depth of Jefferson's wisdom, helping you find clarity, direction, and renewed energy to pursue your goals. This is more than a playlist, it's your companion on the road to a purposeful, empowered life. Let Jefferson's insights be your guide as you begin this extraordinary journey. The Table of Content We present the Table of Contents for Start Here with quotes by Jefferson. Today's episode. In this subtitle we refer to the current installment or segment of the series where we announce the quote number. The inspirational quote by Jefferson O. Inby. This subtitle declares the quotation for the day by Jefferson O. Inby. The source of today's quote. The subtitle draws your attention to the source from which the quote for the day is extracted. It gives a summary of the source and you can get a copy of the source. Introduction. This is a brief introduction of the quote. It gives a general insight of what the quote will cover. The judgment. This subtitle focuses on exploring the potential limitations or criticisms of the quote. We consider whether the message of the quote is universal or whether it may be limited in certain contexts. We also explore how different audiences have received the quote and what criticisms or counterarguments have been raised. The key. This subtitle focuses on identifying the key message or themes of the quote. We explore the underlying principles or values that the quote embodies and consider how these ideas can be applied in different contexts. We also consider how the quote relates to other ideas or themes that are important to you. The application. This subtitle focuses on exploring how the quote can be applied to everyday life. We provide examples of how the quote can be used to inspire action or change and offer tips on how to implement the message in your daily life. We also consider how the quote relates to specific challenges or issues that you may be facing. The image. This subtitle focuses on exploring the metaphorical or symbolic meanings of the quote. We consider how the imagery or language used in the quote contributes to its overall message and what deeper meanings or insights can be gleaned from the language used. We also explore how the quote has been visually represented or interpreted in different contexts. The Potential Reversal This subtitle focuses on exploring how the message of the quote might be reversed or contradicted in certain contexts. We consider how the quote might be challenged by different cultural or social norms or how its message might need to be adapted to be relevant in different contexts. We also consider how the quote relates to different perspectives or worldviews and what insights can be gained from considering alternative viewpoints. The conclusion. The conclusion provides a sense of closure and helps to reinforce the importance of the quote. Make a difference by giving. We will introduce you to our link where you can contribute to supporting the work we are doing. A final thought with Jefferson. Direct words from Jefferson to encourage, motivate, and inspire you as we conclude this episode.
today's episode. Start Here with Jefferson presents quote number 436 Start Here with Quotes by Jefferson. The Inspirational Quotes by Jefferson O. N. B. Quote, True victory over anxiety comes when you stop fighting alone and start trusting in the strength that never fails. Unquote. The source of today's quote. Today's inspirational quote from Start Here with Quotes by Jefferson is taken from my daily devotion, the sure word for today. Immerse yourself in daily inspiration with the sure word for today by Jefferson O. N. B. This soul-enriching devotion, accessible at www.thesureword.org.uk, provides profound insights and spiritual guidance to illuminate your daily journey. Inbi's reflections are meticulously crafted to uplift, motivate, and establish a firm foundation for everyday life. For a consistent source of wisdom, visit the website to subscribe to the daily devotion. Elevate your spiritual journey further by becoming a member of our YouTube channel. Empower your daily living with the sure word for today and witness the transformative impact of its uplifting messages. Pause the video and scan the QR code to join and receive the daily devotion. Pause the video again, scan the QR code, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where we feature playlists spanning various aspects of life. The Introduction In life, anxiety often feels like a battle you face alone. Yet, true strength comes when you stop isolating yourself and begin trusting in something more significant, whether it's faith, support from others, or the inner resilience you did not know you had. The message here is clear. Victory over anxiety is not about enduring solitude, but rather it is about finding strength through connection, faith, and trust. The judgment. While the quote encourages trust in a higher strength, some may argue that it overlooks personal responsibility. Critics might suggest that relying on external forces like faith or support systems alone does not always guarantee a solution. In some cases, Anxiety stems from complex, deep-seated issues that require professional intervention. For those who do not share a belief in a higher power, the code could seem limiting as it places significant emphasis on an external source of strength rather than internal resolve. The key The key takeaway is the importance of trust and surrender. You are not meant to handle everything alone. The code embodies the principle that anxiety loses its power when you stop trying to fight it solely by yourself. This can be applied to life by encouraging you to lean into your community, family or faith. It's about recognizing that strength can come from multiple sources and that true victory is found when you allow others to help carry the weight. The application. How can this be applied in your life? Start by acknowledging that seeking help is not a sign of weakness. It's the very definition of strength. 
reach out when anxiety feels like too much to bear. Whether through prayer, therapy, or a trusted support network, action is key. Don't bottle things up. Take steps daily to lighten the load by trusting in the strength of others, professional support, and faith to provide you with guidance and peace. Remember, asking for help is not giving up. It's choosing to move forward with wisdom. The image. The imagery of this quote invokes the picture of a soldier in battle, exhausted from fighting alone. As soon as they step back and trust in their comrades or a higher power, the tide of the battle begins to turn. This symbolizes how surrendering the fight to a greater strength, whether divine or communal, can lead to triumph. It invites you to see that letting go doesn't mean defeat. It means finding a more effective way to face your challenges. This imagery inspires hope and reminds you that no one wins a battle alone. The Potential Reversal In some contexts, the message could be challenged. Some people thrive on personal independence, preferring to face challenges on their own terms. For them, relying on external forces might feel like giving up control or compromising their values. In some cultures, depending on others is viewed as a weakness and the idea of trusting in strength outside of yourself might contradict the belief that self-reliance is the ultimate form of success. Additionally, for those who may not subscribe to faith-based ideals, the coach's focus on a higher strength could be met with skepticism. The Conclusion In the end, the code encourages you to release the bodies of anxiety by trusting in sources of strength beyond your own. Whether through faith, community or inner resilience, the lesson is clear. You don't have to fight alone. By allowing others to support you, you find the true path to victory. Remember, life's challenges are best faced with open hands and an open heart. Make a difference by giving. Thank you for being a part of our community across the Shore Word for today. Start here with Jefferson and Robust Digital Expert. Your support is invaluable to us. By buying us a virtual coffee, you're helping us continue to produce content that inspires, educates, and empowers, making a difference in the lives of others. Together, we can make a difference and reach even more people. Thank you for your generosity and for believing in our mission. Make a difference today by clicking the link in the description. A final thought with Jefferson. What will you do? when encouragement feels like a burden. Are you tired of hearing the exact phrases, God is turning things around for you? Everything will work out. This too shall pass. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. I understand how exhausting it can feel. You are in pain, overwhelmed and frustrated. You've heard these words before, and yet your situation has not improved. It feels like these words have lost their meaning. They are just empty promises. Hearing that God is working in your favor might feel like a burden right now. And I get that. But here is the truth. The part that is hard to hear. Just because you don't feel it doesn't mean it's not happening. God is working even when it's not apparent to you. This isn't just a line to make you feel better. It's the truth. 
I'm not here to please you or tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to speak the truth even if it stinks because it is the truth that will set you free. These words may not feel comforting now, but one day you will understand their value. This storm you are facing is temporary and it will pass. You may feel frustrated today, but there will come a day when you will look back and be grateful that you are reminded of the truth. Trust in the Lord even when it's hard. He will turn things around in your favor.